Some users have just reported that their Google Drive for Windows desktop has rolled back to where it was in April or May of 2023, pretty much just because of an update. And these people currently do not have access to any of the files they've modified recently. And it, I've got the forum post up here where a bunch of people are reporting this and Google has actually reported that they are investigating reports of issue impacting a limited subset of drive for desktop users and we'll follow up with more updates. And they're saying, make sure you do not delete these files or these folders because I think this is the only place this data currently lives. There is a ton of noise on this right now where there's no easy solution, but this has been posted over right now seven days at time of filming this. And it took them a week to get their explanation out from an official response, and they still do not have a official solution. One of the problems is Google also hashes the files that are kept pretty normal to be done. But that means that even though these files may be in a backup folder somewhere, they are not currently readable and there's no solution there. And I really want to take this time to talk about why if your data is on somebody else's cloud, you have to just trust that they are going to work. You have to just trust that everything is going to be okay and that you do not have the ability to fix any mistakes they make. It is often much easier to just trust that, yes, Google Drive, they're never gonna fail. There's no way that data is going to get lost. But in reality, it happens. It's happened many, many, many times in the past from Dropbox and Google Drive and all these different companies at one point have all had a failure in one case or another that has caused somebody to lose data. And the problem is when it's your data, you do not have the ability to do any kind of recovery because you don't control the backups. You don't control the snapshots. You don't control any of the versioning. And that is something that is really, really, really difficult. So as of time of filming this video, there's still no solution out there. There are people talking about where the files may be and it's looking like they may be able to be recovered in the future. But these people who this has happened to have been out with their files for over a week now and with no direct solution in sight. And so while we're talking about this, I really want to talk about how you can use a Synology NAS to protect yourself from this. And it's something that a lot of people think, oh, it's never going to happen to me. I don't need to back up my Google Drive until it happens. Synology makes it really easy to back up a Google Drive, Dropbox, pretty much any cloud provider other than unfortunately iCloud due to Apple being walled garden. And it's simple. It's called CloudSync. So this is your warning right now. If you've got a Synology NAS, go ahead, install CloudSync and run it because it's going to allow you to back up your entire Google Drive, Dropbox, whatever account to your NAS. And so even if you want to use Google Drive as your primary storage medium, you still will have full control over stuff where as long as you check on this and make sure everything's good, if this ever were to happen to you, you'd say, ah, oh, darn, that's annoying. I can't use Google Drive for the next week. Oh, well, I'll just copy the data I need out of CloudSync and keep working just fine. And you can also add in your own snapshots, which give you full versioning. So even if this did happen and it overwrote everything, you just go, oh, well, I'll just go back to my cloud sync and I'll look at my snapshots and pull those. So I'm going to go ahead and set this up right now. I want you to install two packages, cloud sync and snapshots. So first off, we're going to go ahead and just create a new shared folder in, in control panel. And we're just going to say, we're just going to call it cloud backup. We don't have to enable a recycling bin and we can actually just hide it from the network. So it's just there if we ever need it. And we'll even compress it. Why not? So now this is where we're going to stick all of our data. Now what we'll do is we'll open up file station and we're just going to create a folder in here for every single cloud you've got. So I'm just going to go Google drive and maybe you have a business Google drive. Maybe you have a Dropbox, just add as many folders as you've got in there. Next thing we're going to go ahead and do is just open up our cloud sync. And now just select whatever cloud you would like to pull from. And note, it also works with S3 and WebDAV, which means between those two, you should be able to grab pretty much anything under the sun. I'm just going to go ahead and do my Google Drive right here. And great. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and create a new connection name. For my local path, I'm going to select out cloud backup slash Google Drive. 
And one really useful thing we can do is we can actually have a download remote changes only. And so what that'll mean is we can actually just download our files only. So that way, anything that's modified on our NAS will not be sent back up to Google Drive, up to you. But by doing that, you can also say, hey, convert all my Google Drive documents to Word documents. And so that way, you don't get locked into the Google Drive workflow. You can also set up a schedule and everything you possibly need with that. But that's pretty much it. That's how quick and easy this was to set up and run. And now my NAS is just downloading my Google Drive and it is going to continuously be backing it up. So right here, we've got all of these things on in here. And so we now can go ahead and add in snapshots to this as well. So now we're going to add in snapshots to be able to recover from anything that might go wrong. So we'll go ahead and set up snapshot schedule and just create a new snapshot schedule for that backup. We'll do it every day should be fine. You can make them immutable if you'd like. And we'll say that, yeah, we'll, we're gonna keep all the snapshots for seven days. And then, I don't know, a daily for probably 60 days. You really can choose however you like to. If you wanna have the last 24 months of versions, you can do that here. This is totally in your court, the ability to keep whatever versions you'd like here. We'll also just make them visible. All right. So that was it. I don't use Google Drive for much of anything. So it is incredibly small and it's all done backing up. But now if anything were to happen and say Google Drive deletes one of my files, right? Let's see what I've even got in here. Some report. Let's just say it was deleted on Google Drive, which means it would be deleted here, right? Well, Instead of being out of luck and saying, oh, I got to contact Google support. I got to see if we can find this. We got to see if we can recover this files because it was deleted out of Google Drive and maybe Google Drive just glitched and deleted everything in here. And now I don't have it. Well, I can just go to my snapshot folder and find the last time it was there. Oh, hey, there's my file. I really recommend you do this right now because it is so easy to set up and storage local storage is cheap and it is one of those cases especially if you're using this as a business having the ability to switch over and grab these files really quickly and easily and just get going is invaluable it is the ability to recover from something like this occurring and not having it ruin your business imagine if you were a full-time google drive user and your entire business was like that and you have a week of outages where people lose access to files they've been working on for an entire week, which is where these people are at right now. It'd be tough to recover from that. And so that is why you really should sit down, figure out what your critical cloud infrastructure is and back it up. If you are an employer and you all use uh, MS365 or Google Workspace, and that's where you store your files, you can use Active Backup for Business for both of those and boom, now you've got the exact same ability, but not just for you, but all of your employees. Really, really, really powerful stuff. And I implore you to sit down today and get this set up because it can happen to you. All right, well, that's gonna be it for this. Hopefully this gets resolved soon enough and it does look like eventually the files will be back, but it is a great warning for you right now to sit down and make sure your critical files are backed up somewhere and remember, if they are backed up today, sit down, kick the tires and test the backup because a untested backup is simply wishful thinking. If you'd like to hire me, there's a link for that down in the description below and have a good one. Bye.